Wow, his hands move so fast. Indeed, he's really good. He won again. That was truly a feast for the eyes. Next opponent. He wants to continue still. He's already beaten all of today's players. He seriously still have energy for more? Hi, I'm Bevis, a 17 years old video game lover. In fact, it wouldn't be a stretch to say that I'm one of the best players. My dream is to become a pro gamer. I've been on a lucky streak today. And then on top of that, a life-changing moment happened. Before I continue with my story, please click like and subscribe to this channel. Look, wonder how long has he been playing? So admirable. Watch his hands, the speed is unmatched. Perhaps he's a pro? It's been such a long time since we get a break. Like this, let's just enjoy it. You're right, I'm craving for some pizza. Wanna join? Always fast food. Can we get something more light and healthy? Yeah, I'll probably just head back to rest. I'm a bit tired. Come on, Lucas. Come with us, please. How noisy these kids are. Okay, wanna play around with me? Sure. Ah, <gasps> oh, our captain is back. I'm thirsty to death already. Did you, boy? Yes, Sprite for you. Indeed. Captain knows me best. What about my drink, Chief? Wine too. Maybe he only bought it for me. There. No way. You guys are too noisy. DE team, the best esport team of all time. They rank the number one team in the whole wide world. They first won the world championship five years ago and continued getting their third gold trophy in June 2021. DE team be continuously crashing all of their opponents at the LCI League and came first. They're an intimidating name to all other gaming teams. Hey, really no one want to go grab some pizza with me? Lame. Leo, the youngest official member of the team. He was a trainee for a really short period before getting promoted to be a primary member. He played alongside his team when they took the first place in 2021, which made him the youngest champion ever, being 18 at the time. He was a very bright and outgoing person, but super clumsy. Everyone already said to choose something other than pizza, you stone deaf rabbit. Mm, he looks quite grumpy, doesn't he? He started this gaming career since pretty young, so he's very experienced and possesses a stern style of play. He's a close off <laughs> person, but that only makes the fans even more interested in getting to know this mysterious guy. Come on, don't be so harsh on the kid. I'll join you, that do, right? Dylan, an official member who joined by the end of 2021. He's a nice guy, has no problem dealing with everyone's teasing or Leo's various ideas. Let's do it this way. We can just get food to deliver to the headquarters. Order some pizza for Lil as well. Okay, I won this round. Mm, and this guy is their manager, maybe? I haven't done my research on this yet. Hey! That's ridiculous. You know, I went easy on you, right? Lucas, a senior player in this pro gaming scene. He's considered the left hand of the team. Hey, do you all see the tournament out there? Should we put on these guys and join them for some rounds? They will reckon you in a sack. We're not allowed to participate in betting games like that. We're pros, remember? I heard that there's a really good one out there. He's been beating every player here. Oh, didn't you pass by them earlier while going out to buy drinks? Do you see the games, Chief? Do you see that guy play? Oh, yeah. Pretty good. Cool tactic. What? I've mentioned the left hand, right? Then here's the right hand of the team, Isaac. He's the team leader of DE team, the one who's been leading them to victory. People call him a sorcerer. A solo king who can win one against four. He has the most fans and me. I am one of his fans as well. Hey, isn't it rare to hear Isaac giving someone compliment like that? Right. 
That got me curious about how good that kid is. Should we go out there and check? Stop making a fuss. People will recognize you guys. I was right. It's time to get back to the headquarters now, guys. Or maybe you can go and check on him. Me? Should I? Get your stuff and let's head back, guys. Were you still going to buy me a pizza? Just shut up and go. Aren't you coming with us? Oh, I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay then. Bye. His hands are fast, with an aggressive playing style, just like Isaac back in the days. No wonder why Isaac complimented him. Let's call it a day. I'm tired now. Hey, kiddo. Good games. Who's kiddo? Does anyone teach you how to play? Do you mind having a talk with me for a bit? I'm the manager of DE Team. You know them, right? What? DE Team? Correct. Don't want to sound arrogant, but no one that is interested in gaming that haven't heard of the name DE, right? <laughs> Those kids are able to compete confidently and shine bright out there are partly thanks to me taking care of them. Having their backs to get them to the heyday like today, I for sure have also expended considerable effort. Thinking back about it, I gotta say I'm pretty proud of myself. Ah, uh, is that so? But why do you want to talk to me? I've just seen your games earlier. Your skills are very good. Thank you. So, do you want to join DE team as a trainee? I find you pretty fit for the spot. Trainee in DE team? This is a chance in a million years. Think about it. I'll have to take this call for a bit. Oh god, that's unbelievable. I pulled up my phone and texted my friend. Gosh, I just met this crazy dude. He be calling himself DE Team's manager and even asked me to join the team. LOL. I must come up with some excuse to get the hell out of here. What's wrong? When you're going to be back, everyone's waiting for you. Probably a bit later. Just go ahead and eat. Everything's good? Need me to pick you up? Where are you going? Picking Kay up. Sorry for keeping you waiting. It's just that Isaac insisted on picking me up. The kids wouldn't eat if I wasn't there yet. <laughs> oh, Isaac that you mentioned is Isaac the captain of DE? Yep, he's on his way here to pick me up right now. This guy's delusion is seriously over the top. I should flee right away. Ah, my stomach suddenly hurts so bad. Are you okay? Guess I have to go now. See ya. It's meant to be. Right, when I was about to leave, a car pulled up in front of me. Then I saw a familiar figure step out of the car. Isaac? Hey, Kay, let's go! So everything you've been saying is true? That really is Isaac of DE Team? Here, take this, kid. Think about it and let me know, okay? Then he got on the car with Isaac and they drove off. What? That's really Isaac? Is this a place? DE Headquarter Can't believe one day I'd be able to stand here And so my dream of becoming a pro gamer is about to come true for real? I carefully rang the bell And the one who answered the door was no one other than my idol Isaac But he just snatched the bag of snack out of my hands and slammed the door at me Hey, someone's at the door Oh, probably my chicken delivery has arrived Can you come get it for me, chief? I'm in the middle of the game. This kid. Fast food, again. Hello, Isaac. I am... This one, right? Thank you. What? Here, your chicken. Nice. Thanks, chief. What? Isaac, this ain't my chicken. Did you mess it up with something else? How come he thought I was the delivery man? How rude! Who's this boy? I don't know either. Leo! Huh? No, I don't know anything. It's me who invited him. Everyone get to know each other. He's going to be our new trainee. Hey guys, I'm Bevis. Nice to meet you. I'm 17. Whew, what a relief. Just a trainee. I thought he's one of you guys' ex-boyfriend. <coughs> What nonsense are you babbling about? Okay, can we talk for a sec? 
Hey kid, you are really that young? When did you decide this? Did you get permission from the higher ups? Everything has been authorized already. That's the boy we've met at the gaming center. He's really good. The kid the other day? Why do we have to get new trainee at this time though? It's not really necessary. There's something I haven't told you guys. Lucas has a pretty bad injury on his hand. If he continues with this rate of intensive practicing, it's going to damage his health. After this upcoming tournament, he's going to retire. This is Lucas' decisions. We can't interfere. And so we need someone to fill in his spot? Yes. Can you show Bevis around the headquarter? Hey kid, follow me. And so I have a chance to visit the whole headquarter. This place is huge. So from now on, I'll get to live here. This is your room. This really is such a room of my dream. Am I really allowed to use everything in here? Before that, there's one thing you need to do. What? Shouldn't we test his abilities before accepting him into the team? DE is not some place where you can just get in easily, right K? Mmm, yeah, a good idea. You will play solo against each one of the team. If you win 3 over 5 of us, then you can officially join the team. What do you all think? Isn't that a bit hard for him? How can he beat us? Robbie has a point. Fine, I've always wanted to compete against DE team for once. Actually, I'm pretty confident with the solo games as I'm their fans, so I've studied their playing style pretty well. Isn't now the perfect timing to utilize it? Round 1 Beavis vs Dylan Just as I expected, he chose Yon, the main champion that he's best with. And there's only one way to beat him. Yasuo? Bro, watch how I'm gonna take you down! What's going on? Victory. Bye bro! You! Okay, I'll take revenge for you! Game on! Leo, a pretty unpredictable guy. His style of playing is flexible and changes all the time. Wonder which champion is he going to choose? Cassante! Next person, get in! Next! Oh, I can't believe one day I'd get to play against my idol like this. Stop blubbling. If you lose, you'll have to leave this place immediately. He chose Fiora? I'll choose Darius then. Despite having a big build, I still can't get through his defense. Every move I made is responsed by his furious counter attack. It's like he could read my mind. Your tactic is way too predictable. Only attack without defense. Halt teachers like your personality. I don't understand what potential the high ups see in you that they want you in the team. But to me, you're way too incompetent. There's still one player left. I'm not defeated yet. Everyone here has already known your style of playing very well by now. You winning against Lucas is just simply impossible. I think you just accept the defeat. We don't know if we don't try. Okay, start the game. This time, no one will be able to predict what I'm going to do while well, I know everyone so well. Lucas, what's wrong? Why'd you let him go? Just one last trick will do. Victory. Come on, Lucas. What are you doing? And so, I've been yes. Lucas. When I turned to see him, I saw him grab his wrist, looking extremely in pain. Okay, everything is clear. Bevis won. That means he will stay. Any questions? Everyone looked annoyed and then left. They all think that Lucas went easy on me in that round. <gasps> Welcome, kid. That doesn't mean that you are safe. 
If your performance is not good, then you will still have to leave. Tomorrow will be your first day of training. Welcome. I shook Isaac's hand, chills run down my spine. Somehow, my gut feelings about the future don't feel too good. That night, I laid in my bed and couldn't stop admiring how comfortable and grand everything is here at my new home. Exhausted, after a long day, I fall asleep in no time. But I got to taste the bitterness of suffering right the day after. I was woken up by Isaac and dragged out of bed at 7 a.m. I had to do some hands warm-up exercises for the entire morning until my hands are all dead tired. Only by 11 a.m., everyone else woke up and prepared for lunch. Hey, what's with the discrimination? Why only I have to wake up at 7? Do you want to stay here or not? Then carry on. Isaac and his lesson of death again. Yeah, I've gone through that when I first got here also. Really? How did you manage to survive that? Oh, our kiddo. Good job, good job. That afternoon, Isaac taught me about our team's tactic as well as the opposing teams. Of course, I listened to him very attentively. But little did Isaac know, I've already done research on all of these and known them all too well from a long time ago. So it was getting boring and I accidentally fell asleep. This got Isaac super mad and yelled at me like crazy. But Captain, I know all these already. I'm truly a big fan of you guys, so I have studied all about your style of playing before. This is exactly the attitude that will make you the loser in every game. Soon you will get to have a taste of that. This is a league of the pros. An arrogant person like you would never be welcome. Then Isaac stormed off. Did I do something wrong? Throughout the following days, I had to train with a rigorous schedule. My fingers are about to fall off from typing too much. How much this time? 8. 83 words per minute. Terrible. Continue. Why do I have to suffer all this? Is it because he hates me and he's trying to torture me on purpose? Not really. Oh god, you scared me. When did you get here? That's just how Isaac is. People call him the sorcerer with his fierce eyes. He's always so cold and principled. Don't look directly into his eyes, it won't end well. Not only that, I also heard that he used to have a girlfriend and she broke down crying once after looking straight into his scary eyes. That's why they broke up and till now he still haven't been in any other relationship. Is that true? Of course. What are you all shit chatting about? Nothing. <laughs> What did you guys talk about? N nothing No way! Is he really that scary? The next day, I woke up to see everyone's already in the living room, looking all gloomy and cranky. The news about Lucas' retirement after the upcoming tournament is all over the internet, and a brand new face is going to replace him. It's me, my picture was spammed in all those articles. Is this true, Lucas? This is fake news, right? You've never told us this. Hey, say something. Everything is true. The injury on my hand is acting out again. That's why I made this decision. Plus, I'm old anyway. It's time to pass the baton and rest. Leo got teary then broke down crying like a kid. Running over and gave Lucas a big hug, followed by everyone else. At that moment, for some reason, I felt so empty, like I didn't have anyone by my side. I didn't think I'd be accepted into the team to replace Lucas. I stayed in my room and read all the comments about me. The majority was against the fact that Lucas would be replaced by a nobody like me. All left negative comments. They didn't think that I had what it take. This made me doubt myself as well, even though I've always been having high self-confidence. But for now, I just wanted to run away. <laughs> Suddenly, someone knocked on the door. It's me, Lucas. Don't mind those comments online. People always be like that in the beginning. It's always hard for them to welcome something new. There is one thing I want to ask you. Okay, feel free. About the game last time, did you let me win on purpose? So that there will be someone to replace you? <laughs> no, I didn't go easy on you. I think I was trying my best at that time. My hand was a bit hurt, but that doesn't mean that I let you off easy. You've won with your own ability, kid. 
So stop doubting yourself and be confident. <coughs> what are you two doing here? Nothing? <laughs> Come on, let's go. What are we going to learn today? Hands moving. Yes. Again? I've already practiced my fingers off. When will I get to train properly? Belvis, now listen carefully to my words. As you already know, you will be replacing Lucas. And it's not an easy thing to be accepted by everyone. That's why you will have to make even more effort to prove to them all that you are capable of taking his spot. Any mistake you make, no matter how small, will be enough for the internet to tear you to pieces. And I'm doing all this just so that this scenario will never happen. I'll protect my team at all costs. So, start training. What's your speed now? 90 words per minute. Continue. Hey Isaac, I don't think my hand can hold up anymore. Can I take a break? When I turned around, Isaac was not even there, so I walked around to find him. Then I found him sleeping on the couch. What? He sneaked out to sleep here while I was practicing like hell over there? Looking from this angle, he doesn't look so intimidating anymore, huh? I wonder if what Dylan said was true. Right then, Isaac suddenly woke up, got me all flustered. Our eyes met, a strange feeling ran through my body. I quickly stood right back up. I'm taking a little break. What's your speed now? For real? That's all he can say in a situation like this? 120 words per minute. Pretty good progress. You did well. <laughs>